टू माई चैनल पावर ऑफ पावर पॉइंट बाय श्रुति शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न फाइव सुपर यूजफुल टाइम सेविंग ट्रिक्स एंड हैक्स एंड पावर पॉइंट बट बिफोर आई बिगिन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट वन ऑफ द नाइसेस्ट वे टू सेव सम टाइम इन लर्निंग पावर पॉइंट इज बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल सो हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन राइट अवे So we are going to start with format painter. We all know that tool. It's basically a simple tool that is used to copy properties of one object to another one. It could be a text, an image or a shape. Now for example this text that you see in orange, I want to copy the property of this one to rest of the text as well. So I'm going to go to format painter and click on the text that I want to use the property for. But now I can only use it once, right? In order to do it on the next line, I will again have to go to Format Painter, so on and so forth. And sometimes it gets very tiring when you have to do it multiple times. Now I'm going to show you a trick where you can actually use it on multiple objects in one command. So click on the subject, click on Format Painter twice instead of one, and now you can actually copy the properties of that text to any text multiple times. In fact, you can use it. on multiple slides as well like if i go on the previous slide i can do it there so this is one of the most useful and easiest trick that i have come across and a lot of experienced people also do not know about this one let me show you one more time i want to copy properties of this circle on the green one so i'll go to format painter and click on the object right same way i want to copy the properties of the circle at the bottom on the left side circle and i've done the same thing but i can only do it once right Now if I want to copy the property of black one on rest of the circle I'm going to double click and click on each circle you can do it on multiple slides there's no limit to this it's as simple as that and it's a super useful trick i use it in all my presentations the next trick that we are going to learn today is control d a lot of experienced presentation designers also do not know the power of smart copy so now if i want to copy the text and the bullet point multiple times What I need to do to make sure that they are equidistant from each other and I don't have to use alignment or grid lines instead of using control C do control D it will make another copy and now just fix the distance between two objects that you want and now all you need to do is press control D everything will be equidistant the way you want it and it saves a lot of time trust me I am going to show you another example just to make sure that you understand it properly i have done control d made a copy and now i'm just deciding the distance now all i need to do is press control d and everything will be equidistant same for the text control d deciding the location the distance between the original object and the new one and now i just have to press one button did you know the trick it's something which I use in all my presentations and it saves me a lot of time trust me. Now I'm going to create that grid that I showed you just by pressing control D. So I made a copy of this and decided the distance and now all I'll do is press control D and I'll keep getting these lines to create a grid that I want. I am going to do the same thing with the vertical line as well. Press control D, make a copy, decide the distance. and now all i'm going to do is press control d and all the copies will be made automatically let's look at one last example so suppose you have to make a timeline or you have to make multiple boxes with some text in it to make sure that they are equidistant just press control d to make a copy decide the location and the distance and now all you have to do is press control d for as many time as the number of boxes you want let's come to our third tool how to use auto shape tools multiple time using the log drawing mode it's a really really interesting tool for those who make organizational charts flow charts or any sort of corporate presentation which involve charts let's look at this example This could be an organizational chart or a flow chart. Now, if I want to connect these boxes to each other, I'll go to Auto Shapes, choose and locate the right elbow arrow for myself, and we'll start connecting the boxes. Now, to connect the second box, I will again have to go to Shapes, again locate the tool, and use it. Right? And using it again and again could be quite a painful process. Now, let me show you how to save some time and frustration by actually locking the tool. 
and using it as many time as you want without going to the shapes. Go to shape, choose the tool that you want, right click and click on the lock drawing mode. So it locks the tool that you have chosen and now you can use it as many time as you want. You won't have to go to shapes again and it can easily and automatically connect all the boxes. So all you need to do is just click on the center of the box or wherever you want to connect one box to the next one. This will save you a lot of time. You can decide if you want to connect them from the right side, left side, from top, bottom, however it works for you. And within less than a minute, you can create a whole organizational chart. I'm just showing you another way to connect them. If you want to connect the boxes at the bottom also with the upper one, I'll again go here, log drawing mode, since I pressed escape. And now I can connect all these boxes from the left hand side. I can connect the top box with the bottom one with a very, very easy method. I'll delete the center one and we are good to go. Coming to our fourth tool, how to lock aspect ratio of a particular shape. This makes sure that whenever you are increasing or decreasing the size of a shape, the aspect ratio stays same. I am drawing a rectangular box and now as you can see the aspect ratio changes when I increase the size, right? Right click format shape, go to size options. You will see something called lock aspect ratio there. Click on that and no, now no matter how you pull the shape, the aspect ratio stays same. Even if you use shortcut, of increasing or decreasing the size, the aspect ratio will still stay same. Creating another shape. See, the shape is getting distorted, right? If I'm trying to increase or decrease using the cursor, or even if I'm using the shortcut, I'll have to do it again and again. Now come to size options, lock aspect ratio. And now whether you use the shortcut or use the cursor, the aspect ratio of the shape will stay same. And this actually tool can help you save a lot of time. Now coming to our last tool, how to use Ctrl and Shift to make sure that you draw in the straight line. This is one tool that I swear by from the time I've started using this tool. Let me show an example. So if I want to draw these circle in a straight line, what I do generally is I go to circle, uh, make a copy using Ctrl C and then I align it right in a straight line and I see the lines on the left and right. This is the way you do it. Now let me show you a simpler way. I'll delete this. Now press Ctrl Shift and make a copy. So it will automatically come in the straight line. Even if you try to move it here and there, either it will go in a vertical straight line or in a horizontal straight line. And now you can make as many copies as you want just by pressing Ctrl Shift. Isn't it easy? Now I'm making copies horizontally. Again, I cannot move this in any other direction. It will either go in horizontal direction straight line or a vertical direction straight line, but nowhere else. And now if I want to make sure the distance between all of these are accurate, I can just go to align and equidistant them. If you don't know about this tool, check out my last video. The link is going to be in the description box. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this one, like, share and please, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be making a lot more videos covering many more topics on various tricks, tools and hacks that can save your time and also make your presentation look fabulous. If you want me to make video on any particular topic in PowerPoint, do write in the comment box and I will surely make that video. Thank you for watching Power of PowerPoint by Shruti Sharma.